Norwegian scientists declared that the nuclear submarine Konsumolitz, which sank in 1989 in northern waters, was damaged. And radiation is escaping. How did they come to this conclusion and most importantly, what could threaten mankind, because the reactor and nuclear missiles are still on board the submarine? Before you watch this video, I'm going to ask you to support my channel with a thumbs up. It won't cost you anything, but it means a lot to me and my channel. Thank you. The atomic threat is back 30 years later. This year, a Norwegian expedition together with Russian scientists surveyed the bottom of the Norwegian Sea. The Komsomolets nuclear submarine, the newest Soviet submarine at the time, which died and sank, has been lying there for 30 years. Since the 1990s, the area around it has been surveyed and searched for radiation. In 1993, the area was clean. In 2007, Russian scientists found an increase in radionuclides. To put it simply, poisonous radioactive substances began to penetrate into the water. A study that year showed a 100,000-fold excess of radiation background. This was the initial data. A little later, Norwegian scientists sharply increased them to 800,000 times. The samples will now be carefully studied. A number of experts have doubts about the veracity of this data. Military expert Alexander Lyonkov suggested that the Norwegians had damaged the protection of the mothballed nuclear submarine. The footage shows the probe of a research probe penetrating inside the submarine. Komsomolets. How the tragedy occurred. The Komsomolets nuclear submarine was a breakthrough submarine weapon for the mid-80s. She was the first to hold the record of diving to a depth of more than one kilometer. The titanium Mahina went unnoticed at incredible depths. But she could not return from her third voyage, April 7, 1989. In the early morning hours, a fire broke out on the stern near the nuclear reactor. Why, it is still not clear. But the fire suppression system failed. The fire was spreading. Suddenly the boat stalled at a depth of 160 meters. So the captain decided to surface. He started the ballast system purging. In theory, the motor should have blown out the excess water and the lighter boat would have started to rise but the mechanics had damaged the piping system. And when the boat surfaced, it gave a lurch. Fire was already blazing in six of the seven compartments. The interior of the Komsomolts resembled a fiery hell. The automatic system managed to shut down the nuclear reactor. But the boat was doomed. It banked and began to plummet to the depths. The reactor and two missiles with nuclear warheads were left inside the boat. Several sailors did not manage to leave the compartment. But many made it to the surface. However, to get out of the boat did not mean to save oneself. Of the 59 sailors, only 27 survived. Some died inside the escape pod. Many died of hypothermia in the waters of the Norwegian Sea. The day of the Komsomolt's death is commemorated as a day of remembrance for all those who died at sea an underwater Chernobyl delayed action. Now Komsomolets lies at a depth of 1650 meters. It is impossible to lift the boat from there. Practically no mechanisms and apparatuses can operate at such depths. Specialists assure that the corrosion of the boat may take several thousand years. After all, the hull is made of titanium. The Norwegians assure that the radiation spreads from the compartment near the silenced reactor. They note, though, that the data still needs to be studied. But even if the reactor is not dangerous, two torpedoes with a nuclear warhead remain on board. Their destruction could pose a danger to the environment. Some experts compare the damage to the explosion at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. The main danger of underwater contamination is also that it is impossible to dive to the bottom and conduct constant, timely monitoring. So now the Komsomolets is not only one of the biggest tragedies in the history of the Russian Navy, but also one of the biggest nuclear mysteries and dangers in the world. I thank you for watching. Your support is very important to me. Your comments and thumbs up motivate me to release new videos on interesting topics. Subscribe and turn on notifications. 
See you in the new videos.